Now it's time for a truly unique look in the college football present and past. With Hall of Famer Johnny Majors. Now, here is your host, Heather Harrington. The Johnny Majors Show is a unique look at college football from the perspective of Hall of Famer Johnny Majors. I was, I was very excited, very thrilled because my desire was to be one of my ambitions to be a college football coach. Pro football was important, but college football was a lot more important to most of us, particularly kids and most adults in the South at that time. Coach Majors is steeped in the rich tradition of college football in Tennessee, the South, and all around the country. Well, the, the first scrimmage in college, I found out I wasn't the only one who was scared about going up against the big varsity guys. Uh, but I couldn't imagine uh, them missing me but I made a couple of quarterback keeper runs and two or three people missed me. And I didn't think anything about it. I go back to huddle, but looking back, and then I made one and four or five people miss me. Then I made one and five or six, a couple of ganging them in, I was sidestepping, went to the safety man, and he saved the touchdown. He stopped me. And a booming voice from the, about the 15th throw in the wet stands yelled, Who is number 15? Well, it was General Nealon sitting up there with his khaki shorts, no socks, his loafers on. And a, and a coaching hat with a stopwatch. And Farmer Johnson, who played on his first team in 26, who recruited me, says, that's Major from Huntland, General. Well, I survived. I was alive. And I weighed 144 pounds. I lost 10 pounds in the scrimmage. And I ran all the way to Ellis and Ernest Drugstore, which is where the student center is now. Called my mother and father collect in Huntland. And I said, Daddy, they missed tackles in college just like they did in high school. I couldn't believe it. He's earned the respect of college football fans everywhere. His resume begins as an All-American halfback at the University of Tennessee, where he was also runner-up for the Heisman Trophy. Anybody who liked college football, anybody who played it, knew that the Heisman Trophy was the most important award in college football for an individual player. But uh, there was uh, near the, the, the information or the, the telecast and the cable t networks and the internet and much, as much coverage, and they wanted a week to week progress report and the polls about who was leading and whatever. It's very important, but it wasn't nearly that uh, the attention day to day and week to week. And uh, once I got that, I, ne I never got myself built up to, to, to get too much, and I was always a little more pleased if I did get something and not quite as uh, down in the dumps or not quite as disappointed if it didn't happen. So I never got myself built up. Because it was a very, very, that was an outstanding All-American team that year, one of the greatest pro drafts in history. Uh, Paul Horning won the Heisman. And Gus Manning came in the, the training room, which was under the East Stadium Hall there in the stadium, where we ate. Came in, it was, a, I believe it was at lunch, and he said, John, you came in second to the Heisman. And, uh, and he told me Paul Horning had won, and it was supposed to have been the closest voting in history, I believe, at that time. And uh, I never thought I was uh, mistreated, Know that I should have gotten it, but I was very disappointed when I became in second. And I've gotten a lot of notoriety for being second to Paul Horning. He's a great player. And some people were great players that finished behind me. Tommy McDonald was third. Uh, his teammate, uh, Jerry Tubbs, the center and linebacker, was fourth. And Jim Brown, one of the greatest of all time, was fifth. Then he goes on to coaching stints at Iowa State, Pittsburgh, and eventually back to his alma mater, Tennessee. My, my motto through the years, and people that today, somebody says uh, from Iowa, says, you know Johnny Majors, or, or somebody says, you know, did you remember Johnny Majors when he was at Iowa State? Yeah, pride and enthusiasm. But it's Pittsburgh, or Iowa State, or Tennessee, people know one of my themes. We're going to play with pride and enthusiasm. We're never going to learn to lose. We're going to act like winners. We're going to practice like winners. We're going to dress like winners, and we'll end up being winners, and we'll be champions. Coach Majors was a two-time National Coach of the Year, and he also hoisted a national championship trophy. I thought we had that chance at the end of their junior year. In fact, in the first press meeting I had in preseason, the first day before we practiced, I said, I think we have the chance to have the best football team I've had in my career. And... Uh, I knew that that was, uh, we beat Georgia, and I was confident we could beat Georgia. If you have three or four turnovers, those things change, but I knew in my own mind, if we played up to our potential and Georgia played up to their potential, 
we were a two to three touchdown better, and that's a lot in a Sugar Bowl game because we'd, we'd beaten them 19 to nine down to the year before with the same team, juniors and sophomores. And I knew we were better. And uh, they were number three in the country, we were number one. And uh, that was the culmination of a lot of hard work, and that was the apex, I'd say, of my career, because national championships don't come along very often, and you have to have a little luck, but you've got to be mighty good, well-drilled, well-disciplined, and have some very competitive uh, people with ability. This program will not only be insightful for the college football fanatic, but fun for the casual viewer. Coach Major's thoughts on today's college football topics, as well as his rich football memories, make this program a must-see on every college football Saturday. Oh, to me, there's no substitute for playing. Oh, no. I mean, if I could play today, I had a birthday two days ago. If I could play football today, I'd be playing. I'd be right out there to now. Let's, let's hope it's somebody as good as Bowden White and Shirley Major were coaching me. Thanks for watching. You may contribute to the content of future shows by logging on to www.coachmajorshow.com. You'll find special coaches corner for high school and junior college officials and the volunteer scout section to help keep you current and connected. We hope you've enjoyed this week's insightful look into college football with Coach Johnny Majors and host Heather Harrington. It's Johnny Majors time in Tennessee.